We've got the Oreo one. Because it's so pretty. Ooh. A Christmas tree on the roof. She was not exaggerating. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Today is going to be a very fun and Christmassy filled day. But first things first, I need to clean because between some packages that I got and going to the cast marketplace yesterday, this place is a wreck and that really stresses me out. So we're going to clean, probably going to have some cupcakes for breakfast so we'll give you a review of those. And then yeah, get started on the Christmas extravaganza. First things first though, we have to open our advent calendar. Aww, that one is so cute. It's Timon and Pumbaa. This one's from the BFF little collection. I got Timon and Pumbaa. I don't have a pin of them. Hello, we are now ready for the day. And before we leave, we are gonna try another cupcake. Sorry, something was falling on the floor. So we've got the Oreo one. Obviously not a Christmassy one, but this one's just been calling my name. It's also not like test tasting trying because we've had this exact Oh yeah, I've had this one. Yeah. From Song Cakes before. But I just and it's a winner. love Oreo cookies and cream. Anything. They had, I think it was yesterday, one of their uh, specialties was mm -hmm. S'moreo and it was a S'mores Oreo cupcake. No way. Mm -hmm. I thought that was good. I think that was Small Cakes. I think the frosting is so good. Even though like, I'm pretty sure it's a buttercream, but it's like an Oreo buttercream, so it makes it way better. How many Mickey Santa hats? Five out of five. Easy. What about you? Five out of five. There's just like nothing not to love. It's just so good. So good. If you love a cookies and cream cupcake, small cakes. They have a really good one. Me and Caitlin are on our way to St. Augustine and we had to stop at Walgreens because Caitlin needed some band-aids. We needed a couple little road trip snacks. And they had this, which Caitlin got for me as my activity for the car because I'm three years old. Um, I get to make a wreath from cookies. And it comes with some nasty candy to put on it that I'll probably just eat the candy because it's Nerds, Spree, and lemon heads. That doesn't sound good on a cookie. Um, I yeah. think that you should make at least one and eat it as is. Like how they tell you to make it? Yeah. I'll see what, what I can kind do. Of cookie, does the cookie have chocolate on it? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh wait. I can see. Some I chocolate. think it's chocolate. Oh yeah. yeah, it's the like normal. The shortbread with chocolate. Yeah, on the like side. the bottom dipped. All right. I apologize. This is probably really shaky, but the time has come for me to make my cookie. I pulled out the icing, and it looks like this. So we can only guess how delicious this is about to be. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? I need scissors. Well, okay, it's coming out now. We're gonna try and make this as best we can. Ew. Get some little leaves. Is it working out better than our gingerbread house? No, <laughs> I don't <laughs> think it is. Maybe this just isn't in the cards for you. I'm trying to have little <laughs> leaves and it's just this icing is not the one to make leaves. It's very watery. It does not look like a wreath. But I don't want to cover the whole thing in icing. It's green, all right. Now, we're gonna decorate it with nerds, lemon heads, and spree. <laughs> That's that just sounds like, so delicious. I don't love any of those candies on their own. I think you like just spree. You um, like sweet tarts. Yeah, I like sweet tarts. Oh, fun! They're Christmas oh, um, colors. Yeah. Yeah, there it goes. Nope. So, the lemon heads are much too heavy. So, this is going to be an aerial view only kind of cookie, you know? Um, I don't know about that one. Alright, I think that's two is good. Okay, I'll show it to you. So, this is what it looks like. This is what we're working with. Um, I've decided it's a nice little landing strip for Santa. Um, yeah, so he just lands like right in the middle. That's why everything's on the sides. Honestly, I think that you should consider redoing the wreath on your door to model it after to that look like one. this. Yeah. All right. Moment of truth. How good is it? How many? Mickey Santa hats out of five. I could have made you seven. Oh! Break that it down for us. Truly. Okay, 
So, spree with cookie, disgusting. Because they're like sour and chalky. And the flavors are just not it. Do you need me to try it? Yeah. Okay. I need you to take a bite that has the spree though. Okay. Right there. Yeah. Good bite. Oh, you got a lemon head too. Truly disgusting, huh? Pretty terrible. I will enjoy all of these things individually, but together it's not it. What do you think? It. It's bad, isn't it? Yeah. It's not. I think it's pretty disgusting. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's pretty bad. I'm gonna throw the rest of this away. <laughs> I can't eat it. So I could not eat any more of it. Oh my God. And I didn't have anywhere to put it, so Caitlin took one for the team. She downed it for us. No! We need to clarify. <laughs> what? I did what? not by choice do this. Someone just shoved it in my mouth while I was paying attention to the road. You took one for the team, okay? Okay, forcibly. So we're pulling into town and there's a Ripley's right in front of us and it literally looks like a castle. Believe it or not. Neither Bron nor I have ever been to St. Augustine and while I was driving, I just asked her to find a restaurant and she found a restaurant that was half a mile <laughs> from the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. Believe, Believe it, it or, or not. not. We just always seem to be drawn. To literally. All right, we still have a little while until it like gets dark. So we found a place on the water called Harry's. Had very good reviews online and it's a New Orleans style, style food place. Um, Caitlin's been saying since we've been driving around and obviously I agree that like this whole little area reminds us a lot of New Orleans, which is fun. Um, we love New Orleans. Yeah, Caitlin obviously is from Louisiana so we'll see how this measures up, <laughs> but it looks promising. Let's did go we, eat. Did we explain that we're going to the Night of Lights? I don't think so. They do a big, like, light stuff. A lot of the buildings are decorated. It's like a whole thing called Night of Lights. And that's why we came. That's why we're here. Yeah, hopefully it's good. Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is where we're eating. It's so cute. And the water is literally right there. Super Let's cute. Let's eat. Look at how cute our little area is. You can see the water. Yeah. It's super cute. And when we walked in, there's a Mardi Gras theme. <laughs> you love that. I just felt right at home immediately. Looks good. All right, we got some drinks. I have a Rhythm and Blue margarita. You got a Hurricane, right? Hurricane. With an extra shot. And starting with some crab cakes. I'm gonna try them. I don't eat seafood, but I will try them for you. I need you all to know that most of this crab cake I ate. I can't say I loved it because I still don't really like, I don't like seafood. It's a little too mushy for me, but not the worst thing I've ever had before. Got my yummy pasta. You got what? This is um, stuffed baked shrimp. I don't, it's not really stuffed, but it's just sitting on top. Crab meat on top of it. And then at this one side, I got red beans and rice. Let's hope it's good. Yeah, I, I love red beans and rice, but I'm pretty particular about it, so we will see. Sun is starting to set. Some lights are coming on. We, yeah. We are gonna go get our coats though because it's getting cold and we both just have on shirts. <laughs> so we're gonna get the coats out of the car and then start exploring. There's like this big pretty canopy of light and there's horse-drawn carriages. This little gazebo is pretty. Yeah, I like the little ribbons and stuff. My glasses keep fogging up. So. <laughs> Classic. It's so cool. It's really pretty. Someone left me some coffee for Christmas this year. That's nice. Bron. Yeah. How does this tree measure up to Magic Kingdom's tree? Well, it's about um, probably like a fifth of the size and the presents need some help. Yeah. But I think it's real. They're like colored blocks. This one, is it, is it real? It's real, so. Oh, that's cool. Props for that. There you go. This is literally the same thing just at a different angle. It's so cool. It's cool from far away. I know, we keep recording the same thing just from different angles because it's so pretty. I really hope he comes around this way, but uh, the Grinch just yelled at us hoping we're having a horrible time. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm starstruck. <laughs> you love the Grinch. Hopefully he laughs if he comes on by. I, 
He looks legit. Yeah, it really, it looks like the Grinch. It sounds like the Grinch. Yeah. At first I was taken aback because we were like not looking that way and we just heard someone scream, I hope you're having a horrible time. I think he's coming around. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> I think my heart just shrunk three sizes. <laughs> so obviously the main place we were walking is like one of the main places that has lights, but so many little places do it. That's so cute. It's everywhere. Yeah. Like literally, even if it's just in the windows. I love that. That's so cute. Ron, are you getting some inspo for your house? Uh, seriously. <laughs> I need to step up my light game. Uh -huh. What we are realizing though is because it's just a random what, Tuesday night, yeah. a lot of the like stores and such are closed or like closed early, which is fine. Oh my gosh, a cat. <laughs> which like, take it home or? Probably. Um, there's still a lot to like see and there's tons of lights obviously which is like why we're here But a lot of the like cute little shops and stuff are closed tonight, which is sad because it's not even that late yet It's what like 630. Yeah, looks like it's midnight though. I know there was a Christmas shop We wanted to visit but it yeah. was at five. That makes me sad, but it just means we have to come back Exactly. <laughs> we're down at the marina and some of the boats have lights That's so cute how fun and festive. It would be super cute if they did like a boat parade. I know. They probably do on like Saturday nights or something, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Like random Tuesday night. Yeah. Look at that big one. It's like a pirate ship. Yeah, I don't think you can really tell on here, but God, this is so cool. I like that cute little one over there. I think that they just um, reimagined the pirate ship from Disneyland Fantasmic because it's <laughs> not being used. What is it, the Black Pearl or whatever it's yeah, called? Yeah, not being used right now. So no, may as well bring it here. They've got some crisp lights over there. The bridge, not as crisp. We love to compare like lines of Christmas lights and <laughs> talk about crispness. Literally. Crispness of the line. Uh -huh. So if you've got a crisp line, we're impressed. Literally, there's um, a lot, like a lot of houses in my neighborhood that um, there's like people that will come and install like permanent holiday lighting on your house to basically like line it. So those people have like crisp lines. Like, so that's what we compared all now. Like I've never seen a line that's straight in my life. No, it but looks now so that's good. The standard. I know. Now I'm like, okay, well if I ever want that done in my house, that's what I have to do. Your line's got to be crisp. Correct, crisp. <laughs> Just sprinting across a bridge safely. Just look. It's a boat with lights. Just out. Yeah, they have a couple little ones, but that one's like, look at me, I'm a boat with lights. That place is where we ate dinner. But look at this street. There's so many lights. So many lights. lights. <laughs> it's so pretty. I also appreciate that they're white lights. Because if you watch one of my little Q&A videos I did on, what, day two, I think, I said I don't love a colorful light. White lights just have a certain something. Colorful lights don't. And this is a certain something. White lights have, the colorful ones don't. I would say that a white light is crisper than a multicolor. It is crisper, and they're brighter. I don't know. White lights are different. <laughs> Colored lights are still fun and pretty too, but it's just different vibes, you know. I think. Colors, and my vibe is white lights. I think colored lights are fun. White lights are pretty. Yeah, I agree. How oh, fun! This one has little ornaments on it too. There's so many lights. This is just like a random Hilton hotel. But look. They got the little trees. Kate went in without me. Noted. It's missing a train. There's no train here for the track. But it's cute. But it's a cutie little village. It's just in the middle right of this here. little courtyard area. It's literally a Hilton hotel. Yep. Doesn't they really went all out. Doesn't then. look super like it, but yeah, just a little courtyard. Knights Night. of Lights. I like that this place has so much garland. Braun is a garland fan and I they like garland. They have really stepped their garland game up here. Yeah, I remember at the Teeny Martini bar. <laughs> oh, I remember oh no, it's a historic boutique hotel. Oh, excuse me. That's how they got that garland. Uh-huh. Look at all that garland. Garland game A plus. They have a Christmas tree on the roof. Where? Where? Oh. A Christmas tree on the roof. She was not exaggerating. Oh. There we go. And you're greeted by nutcrackers when you walk in. Pretty impressive. This is the best westerns. Not quite as good as the Hilton, but it is a best western, so. What is that supposed to mean? 
Best Western's not as nice. That's true. <laughs> but and this is a motel. The other one was a hotel. Yeah. Well, they still they still did their best. Motel? Oh my god, stop it. Johnny. <laughs> Stevie. <laughs> Came across like this little market street. It's cute. I'm getting big French Quarter vibes. From yeah, this place. super similar. And there's a lot of places that sound so good, but I'm still so full that I like don't want to eat anything. <laughs> We will see. Might have to. We have to come back. I know. I do really want to come back because it's super cute and I want to come like explore during the day and like when stuff is actually open because a lot of this is closed. It was getting a little chilly out so we had to stop in and get a hot chocolate. I have gloves on too but it's still so cold. It's chilly out. It feels like Christmas, huh? But we stopped at this cutie little coffee shop. Yeah, it's super cute. So... We're just gonna hang out. Chocolate, of course. We're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. Yeah. Are these the same exact lights I have in my bedroom? Like I'm, I'm pretty sure they are. Cause mine do this. Like I have a setting to do it. I'd always just have them on plane. You didn't know that? No. Yeah. I just always have them plane because it kind of gives me a headache. Should we go? But it's cute. Should we go where? Should we go on a walking ghost tour? Absolutely not. Why not? I'll be so scared. Yeah, you are. I could not do that. See, yeah, that's what mine look like. Just plain, <laughs> but they can do that as well. And there's string lights. They added little ornaments. If I ever get mine hung before Christmas on my balcony, maybe I'll do that too, because that's really cute. That is super yeah, cute. Yeah, and they have a fun little, like, it's like two poles with like the lights it's across. Like, it's literally just PVC pipe. Yeah, that's so cute. And then lights across. Yeah, and a huge wreath. What's not to love? All right. We just got back to the car. My nose is so red because it's so chilly out. <laughs> um, but we had a lot of fun tonight. There isn't a ton to like do. Like you're just looking at some cool lights. Um, and a lot of it is like you saw, it's just like a lot of lights, not necessarily like a light show or anything. Um, I'm definitely glad like we came though. Like it was really cool. Yeah. We love just like looking at Christmas lights. Yeah. So. And like, I don't know. I just have fun with you. But, like, yeah. I don't know. We have a good time. And like we got to try a new place for dinner. And it was fun just getting to explore like this area and stuff because I've never been here before. I've never been here um, either. So we definitely want to come back when like, I don't know, maybe on a weekend or something when things are a little bit more open. Yeah. But I would definitely, I don't know if I would recommend like, if you are coming solely for this, if you're like an hour away, then definitely is worth it. But farther than that, I don't know. If you really like the person that you're going with, then like you'll have fun like we did. But if you're just going like, I don't know. I feel like there's cool stuff in Orlando too. Yeah. That if you need another Christmassy fun thing to do, this is definitely one to check out. But do the Orlando stuff first if you live in Orlando, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. Did you have fun? I had a great time. Good. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the um, official Frozen 2 Broadway musical featuring Caitlin and myself. I hope you enjoy. Yes, the wind blows a little bit colder, and we're all getting older. And my leaves a little fatter and wiser. Maybe you should leave all the romantic stuff to me. Yes, but I can still go out and see. clarify that this is Frozen 2 the musical but only the good songs. <laughs> Frozen 2 but make it good. <laughs> Frozen 2 but make it good. All my life I've been told Are you the way I'm no longer trembling? <laughs> Say you trembling. Here I, let me see who you are. I like the interpretive dancing. watch the movie and like see the scene then I will cry. It's so emotional. It's so good. All right. That was your intermission. Um here's act <laughs> 2. We 
was ready to cry. The first time I saw this movie and heard the first few lyrics, I was like, I literally looked at you and said, this movie is for children. <laughs> it's deep. This grief has a gravity pulls me down. down. Which I don't. This is Bronwyn's favorite, favorite part of the movie. Her favorite part of the movie. Are you out there? Do you know me? Aduna's scarf is a bob. I don't know if y'all knew that, but is a bob. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed Frozen 2, the Broadway musical. Fun fact that's actually why Frozen, the Broadway musical, closed is to prep for Frozen 2, the Broadway musical, starring. Bronwyn Weissmuller and Caitlin Jordan. I hope you're as excited as we are. Yep. We made it back to my house. I'm very sleepy, but we had a really fun time. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was good. a good time. Um, now that we are one week, well, I guess technically a week and a day, into Vlogmas, what have been the three best parts of your Vlogmas thus far? Okay. The three best parts of my Vlogmas. Number one, I really liked going to the Night of a Million Lights. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. I Give Kids the World. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really fun and really magical. Mm -hmm. um, number two is probably all of the shopping that we've gotten to do for the little kitty cat. That was mine. Well, five each to it. And then number three is probably my advent calendar. Because I love pins. And it's really fun getting to open one every single day. That's Walking in a Pinter Wonderland. That was your pun, right? Yeah. Good job. Walking in a Pinter Wonderland is fun. the theme of the uh, advent calendar this year. My three, I know that you said you already took this one, so I can't say it. However, I'm going to. Because um, I've never had a pet before, so this whole experience is new and exciting. Yeah of preparing for our little kitty and getting her toys and stuff like that so how do you know it's a her i don't know why i keep saying her yeah like it very time. easily could also be we don't have a cat picked yet yeah sorry <laughs> could easily be a boy i know i don't know in my head it's a girl but it could very easily be a boy and i'll love yeah. him just as much good they um preparing for their arrival has just been very exciting um number two has was actually tonight yeah, tonight was fun. Tonight was so much fun. Like, it was fun to just, like, walk around the city that we've never been to. It was super cute. All the lights were fun. But also just, like, the road trip. Yeah. Part. Like, we just always have fun. Like, we've been on several road trips together. Like, long ones. <laughs> yeah. Just because um, COVID, you know, we're not flying. So, if we want to go anywhere, we've been driving. Mm -hmm. And it's just fun. Like, we sang the entire Frozen 2 soundtrack. And after that... Um, oh, God. no recording of this, but, uh, Hilary Duff's entire discography, basically. Hence we, why you now have a sore throat. Yeah, I have a sore throat. After this, I am going to make myself some tea with honey because I'm getting a little hoarse from the concert that I performed mm -hmm. in the car. And number three, I'm going to say the I Heart Christmas movies thing yeah. at Gaylord last night. Was that was fun. fun. That was definitely fun. Yeah, that was a good time. Yeah. All right, it is time for, I'm gonna set this down now because my arm is killing me. It is now time for the small shop of the day, which is going to be Fantasy Feelings. If you don't know the shop Fantasy Feelings, you are seriously missing out. Um, it was started by a girl named Taylor. She runs it with her sister, somebody that I don't know, and Sarah Beth Graham, who she had a YouTube channel during her CP. Um, and. Fun fact, Sarah Beth is the very first person that I met in the Facebook group because we did our college programs at the same time. Um, but I digress. Fantasy Feelings is literally one of the coolest shops. I think that their shirts are always so original, so incredible, very different than a lot of the things that either Disney sells or like other small shops sell. Um, so yeah, even if it's not for everybody, like I feel like it's a very cool new thing. And constantly, I'm always just like, oh, that's definitely that's the best shirt that they have. And then a week later, they'll come out with 
like a new one that I'm like, no, that's the best one ever. I just think all of her stuff is so, so good. Every time they have a drop, they sell out so quickly and I still haven't been able to get my hands on one, but not gonna give up, still gonna try because I'm obsessed. So many good ones. Please, please, please go and check them out because you will not regret it. All right, I am gonna go and get ready for bed. I am very sleepy. We've had a very fun, full day. Um, yeah, tomorrow is gonna be another fun, good day and we will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. See you again tomorrow. Bye.